All right, movie review time again. And I just finished watching the brand new Knives Out sequel, Glass Onion. And this is on Netflix. Now, it was released for about a week around, uh, I believe it was around Thanksgiving. And it was in very, very limited number of theaters. Um, but it is now playing on Netflix. In fact, Netflix acquired the rights to it and the uh, next sequel for about $450 million total. Now, when it was released for that week, it made, I, I can't remember, I think it was close to 10, 10, between 10 to 15 million at the box office, I believe. And so it honestly, just my opinion, it was probably a mistake that they didn't release it wide, give it some time to run in the theaters and then play it on Netflix. But that's not my money. But now on to the movie. So again, uh, this is by Ryan Johnson who, of course, got a lot of uh, flack for uh, The Last Jedi. Um, but with uh, this movie and the uh, first Knives Out, uh, he shows he is an incredible um, movie maker. I mean, he wrote both of these. He directed them. I mean, his writing in both, and especially this one is very sharp. It's very, uh, you know, there's laughs in this movie. The thought process that goes through to plot everything out and to make sure that, you know, if you've seen something happen at a particular point in the movie, they circle back to it so you see how everything connects together. I, I mean, just the thought process of lining all that up is just worth the movie alone. And the dialogue, again, a master at writing dialogue. Um, the acting, again, superb. Of course, Daniel Craig, again, plays the uh, main protag protagonist and plays the uh, main part in this movie again. And then they've uh, brought along Dave Bautista, Kate Hudson, uh, Edward Norton, and other actors um, in uh, in this to fill this film out. So it definitely, definitely is worth seeing. It's been getting a lot of uh, high praise, and I certainly agree with that. It is one of the best movies I've seen so far this year. It definitely is ta uh, worth taking time out. And uh, catching this, of course, again, it currently is on Netflix, so you would have to have a Netflix account to be able to watch this, but it is worth it. Uh, it is very, very well made. If you are a student of film, if you like, you know, good dialogue, if you like strong characters, definitely. If you like the first one, catch this, watch this. It is worth the time. It is worth the effort. I'm going to give this something that uh, I rarely give out, and I'm going to give it five out of five stars.